from your friends at Smile, this is Most Clicked, a podcast about digital marketing in the higher education sector. I'm your host, Nathan Monk, a co-founder at Smile, and bringing you some additional insight as always, it's our long-standing collaborator, Kyle Campbell from The Education Marketer. Uh, now, this week, we are also joined by a special guest all the way from on Francais, it's Martin Jacob, who is the maker of the University of Hertfordshire virtual tour video game. Uh, so, Kyle, you featured this in your newsletter a while back. Um, very different to everything else that's going on. Uh, I know you love your video games. Um, what <laughs> questions have you got for our friend Martin here? Um, thanks for coming on. So great to actually meet you face to face. I, I played your game probably, I think it's about three weeks ago now. And I'll be honest, whenever I hear like university and video game, I'm I'm often very skeptical when I go into things because I've had some horror stories in the past. But I played your game and I just had such a fun time. <laughs> um, and I think a lot of it is to do with you taking inspiration from like Animal Crossing. And you know, you you clearly have put a lot of a lot of love and thought into this and how it integrates um with a university experience so i'm just fascinated to hear how this this project came about um and how you worked with the the university to to make it a reality right so well hello glad, glad to be glad to be here with you um so i was first uh, contacted by the university uh, staff so the, the head of uh, marketing there was uh, planning on doing something interactive uh for the university's uh, new needs, you know, with the COVID pandemic, etc., they, they felt the need to have something interactive and online to for people to to do to uh, have a you know a first contact with uh, the university. So they contacted me, and uh, first they we kind of um, went back and forth with how big it should be, uh, how much uh, gameplay there should be compared to you know, slideshows uh, and such. And um, so we decided that uh, it would be a virtual tour. So that that would be some kind of 3D or, you know, some virtual space to explore physically at least. And that this space would be filled with interactive content such as uh, students you can talk to and uh, facilities you can, uh, well, uh, not really visit, but you can get info. Uh, on and uh, very early I suggested that we keep the player engaged uh, in the game and entertained by uh, rewarding him frequently with uh, mini games and some kind of uh, overall you know a progression marker so those are well first the hoodie that you're making uh, right now then a series of uh, stars you know series of letters uh, that you can collect so um, I thought that um, my, my, my thought process on this was uh, if I'm going to make something that uh, is uh, informative for, uh, you know, people and in, in informative through uh, mostly textual displays and photographs, etc., I'm go going to have to entertain them every so often, you know, so just to keep them in the flow and so that they don't get bored of uh, always, um, you know, talking to the same kinds of characters, uh, you know, looking at pictures, because it would kind of make it, I guess, um, uh, redundant to have this virtual space to walk around in if there's no game uh, per se. And uh, yeah, so we selected a series of, um, you know, the, the school's most important, most um, um, notable buildings so that uh, games could take place in. Uh, also, we made it so that it's um, an array of, um, you know, there's a certain variety. So you see the art school, you see the science building, you see the engineering building, like the, the big, uh, the most important uh, categories of, uh, of uh, studies you can, you can uh, have, you know, go through there uh, are represented plus the student facilities, such as the accommodations and the restaurants. Um, 
and yeah, then after after that, we I uh, hired a um, um, an artist to work with me to do the 3D graphics while I handled the uh, design, programming, and uh, sound. And uh, yeah, three three weeks later, this uh, this came out. Three weeks. That's wow, amazing. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow. well, uh, three long, you know, I have to admit three uh, intense weeks, but three weeks nonetheless. <laughs> I mean, that's that's incredible. And, you know, I compare that to like the average virtual tour platform. I know it's not like for like, but often these these um, these efforts can take can take months of back and forth. And, yeah. you know, quite sadly, sometimes the result isn't as, isn't as good as this. <laughs> um <laughs> I just love, I mean, as a as an aside, and Nath, I know you've probably got some questions as well, but one of my favorite aspects of what you've done here is, I mean, sure, you're highlighting facilities and you know, you're highlighting certain points of interest on campus, but you've really paid so much attention to world building as well. And, you know, little snippets of information are given through interactions with characters, interactions with objects, and it never feels like it's too much. And if you do compare that to like you know, the closest possible thing, which is like a, a 360 tour, normally you enter into these systems and you're hit with like a map of campus in a digital space. And it doesn't make any sense because you're not there, you're not interacting. But with this, you've just completely reimagined that experience digital first uh, and delivered content information in a way that's engaging and fun um i just think it's so refreshing uh nave what's what's your take i know you had some uh, questions as well i've forgotten all my questions because i was so engrossed in playing this <laughs> playing game, the game getting past all the mini game sorry <laughs> I, I, the, the thing that really strikes me though is that I, I can imagine that for for universities this sort of thing would be so useful for outreach. Mm. Oh, thank you to Matt for taking uh, that screen share off because I would have just been playing that for the entire rest of the <laughs> rest of the episode. Yeah, for, for outreach, like this would be, um, we would be massive going out to schools and actually mm. engaging with people um, earlier in the university kind of life cycle. Uh, and and that's a, I know that that's a becoming a bigger thing is targeting younger people um so uh, i mean it just seems ripe for that sort of stuff have you had have you had much other interest martin from other universities after after this no not really well i, I can't say i've been reaching out uh, you know uh, I, 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 for initially i've been contacted through a, a mutual uh, well through someone i knew who worked there so they recommended me but uh, i haven't made it my business model i have to say it <laughs> but I, you know, I, I, i'm open to doing it to doing it again but uh, i guess it's also maybe uh what uh, made it so that i w i wasn't too influenced by how this was done uh before i guess i just to me it was just another game i made right i just used the same conventions i use in regular i guess regular game making you could call it so um yeah i, I try to have um, various projects and different themes for different kinds of audience for different kinds of, uh, um, you know, uh, business needs, you know, uh, artistic needs, uh, business needs, etc. So I, I try to keep it open. Mm. Yeah, you you can you can totally tell, and I think like this feels like such a perfect marriage between university and maker, or university yeah. and creator, yeah. where it feels like they've given you quite a lot of. Would it be fair to say they they gave you quite a lot of creative license? Yes. Yeah, oh, and they were oh, they were also very creative themselves. I have to say, it was great working with them because they were full of uh, ideas on uh, little details to add uh, there and there. And uh, all I had to do was to put these ideas in an um, in a rewarding interactive context. Well, I mean, it, it shows it, it yeah. shows that the, it. It's really nice to see an example of that type of relationship where the output has flourished as a as a result of that. Um, I can only hope that we see more and more of that as as time goes on. But I, I mean, what you've done, Martin, is is superb, really. And um, I, I 
I'm probably going to spend the rest of the day playing it, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> uh, so, uh, well, first of all, Martin, how can people contact you uh, if they want to have, if they want to get their own university video game made? Um, so I, on, on LinkedIn, I'm, uh, I'm quite active. Uh, also, I have a website, which, which is uh, martinjacob.fr, uh, which is a French domain uh, uh, name. Uh, well, uh, I, don't know, I don't know the English word for this, but it's uh, the appendix uh, <laughs> for the domain name. Uh, so they can reach me through there. Um, yeah, that's, that's the most convenient ways, you could say. Great. Perfect. Any we'll time sure we drop some some links up there. Uh, Kyle, what do you think the? How would you conclude this? What's the takeaway for our audience here? Put the audience first. I mean, I think that's the big one for me. I mean, the reason this is good and we're talking about it is because it's fun to play. Um, you know, you think about your standard tour; they're usually around the ethos of getting the information across. Um, that's a lot of the conversations I hear. Like, how do we communicate this to the to the audience? When really, should be thinking about how to make it an enjoyable experience um, and digital first as well. I mean, this is not trying to mimic a real life thing in a digital space. It's completely rethinking what a facilities tour looks like as a mini game. Yeah, um, and yeah, that's what yeah. sets it apart for me. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, well. <clears throat> Thanks, as always, to all of our wonderful subscribers and followers. If you've enjoyed today's content, then please do consider dropping a like or a subscribe below. And until next week, bye.